Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. It's been a while since I said those words. In fact, it's been about six months. We, um, it's almost been as long as since I've been on the screen. So <laughs> that's how long it has been. Yeah, it's been a long time. Um, yeah, six months. Um, the last content I did was up at Eldis. And then we've been a little bit missing in action. Um, as you know, we moved um, back to North Yorkshire. We sold our motorhome. I've continued with the caravan content last year. Um, what some of you probably won't know if you don't follow us on social media is we did lose fudge last May. We, we lost fudge. I, didn't, I don't mean we went on a walk and I lost him. I mean, you know, we lost him. He got to um, an age. He got to an age, bless him. Um, and, and we, you know, we, we miss him and, and that was hard. So, yeah, we've taken a break from content. And if I'm honest, I totally lost my mojo for it. Totally. I, I, I said to Jules, we're not doing it anymore. I, I don't feel like I want to do it. Um, we went to the February show. We got invited to do the expert panel there because um, we do still know a little bit, not a lot, but we, we can make it up and make it sound good. Um, so we went to the NEC in February, and to be fair, we had two days and we had a brilliant time. Um, I spoke to loads of subscribers or people that claim to have once watched me back in 2018. Um, and people kept saying, when are you coming back? What are you doing? It was absolutely overwhelming. It, it, really it was, was. To be honest. It was really nice. And we both came away. We felt like motivated again to do it. We had a brilliant time. So... I just want to say thank you to the people that took the time to come and, and say those words because it really meant something. Um, so much so, we, we decided that that was it. We needed to give our little heads a shake and get back to it. So I just want to add at this point, I hadn't lost my mojo. I was just inundated with jobs that Karina had given me. <laughs> so I'll show you some of the housework that I've ended up having to do because... If, if you're long time subscribers, watchers of the channel, you know that we moved back from down south, back up north. Uh, we bought a house which was a wreck. Quite a lot of work. <laughs> it was it. a total wreck. But we needed yeah. to get back up north. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I've been gainfully employed. Yeah. By uh, building and trying to renovate uh, our house. And anybody who's done tried to do any work will also know trying to get a trace person. In these sort of times, uh, it's quite it's hard challenging. because all the good ones they have long lead time. Yeah. So we've had to tie that in. So it hasn't it hasn't just been a case of we've had a bit of time off. We've, yeah, we've we been busy. We've been busy. So we we basically spent all our motorhome money after we sold the DL. So we spent that. So we're like, okay, we're getting back into it. I've arranged to get caravan content at Leeds Caravan Centre. So a massive thank you to Cameron who I spoke to at the show. And I've also arranged to get to Wonder Home at Nottingley to do content there. And hopefully Broad Lane as well to do some motorhome stuff with them. However, we were still, we were still in a little bit of a, a quagmire because we got nothing to go out in. And we did actually go away in a tent last year and it was a nightmare. I'm never going anywhere. It. It, was, it was horrendous. I'm never going camping again. Out of the blue, though, out of the blue... Um, Literally, just over about maybe two weeks ago, I got a call from John at Cara. Now, a lot of you will remember John at Cara because that's who we bought our two motorhomes from. And we had a chat. He asked how the show went. And I said, we're coming back. I said, but we, we haven't got any wheels, unfortunately. And I just happened to say this to him. Anyway, next thing, bless him. Now, we bought two motorhomes from John. John is no longer an Adria motorhome dealer. He's not doing Adria caravans or motorhomes anymore. Um, he's doing Sunlight, which is a German manufacturer. Anyway, I've digressed. He said to me, he said, I, <laughs> until, until you can get yourself sorted, I will loan you a motorhome to get back out in. But what he's going to do until we can get ourselves sorted so I can get out and create some, what I call, proper content the content that i really enjoy the motorhome trips and tours he's going to lend us a motorhome so i am so excited i am sat in it now we are here in the motorhome and what is it well i'm going to give you a little quick show round but then once we get it properly for real i'll do a proper review on it but we are now for the next few months going to be motorhoming I'm actually properly excited. I'm going to be motorhoming in a 2020 Adria Matrix Supreme 
670 DC. Big, big title, big name. What does it mean? It's quite a big motorhome. It's uh, seven and a half metres long. It weighs over three and a half tonnes. So Jules can't even drive it. It's like, I'm doing the driving. Um, it's got an island bed. As I say, I'll show you that. It's silver. It's totally bling. And I am, I am absolutely made up. So, yeah. So let's have a look round. But basically, I'm... We want to get back. We want to get back. To, to going out, yeah. doing the walks and taking you with us. And fish and, and chips. And, and from what was said, we're overwhelmingly, that's what people yeah. want to see as well. So we're, we're going to try. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to be one of these that comes back with the channel and says, this is what we've got. We've got loads of things coming up. We have got things planned. Mm. So if you are, you know, into this content, please do subscribe, hit the notification so that you get ideas of our uploads. Our plan, if we if we manage to do it is to upload a review video and hopefully some sort of trip trip video uh once a week so yeah we're trying to get to two uploads yeah. a week um, we're, we're fully mojoed i am fully we're gonna try and excited get back yeah full on like where we were before. yeah so like before i have a quick look around and show you it for those that are interested a massive thank you to those that have st you know stayed with us for those that came and spoke to us at the show hopefully you'll enjoy the review content a massive massive thank you to john um who is going to lend us this motorhome literally to get us back out there and then what we're going to do next i don't know we we know we want to get back to it but prices are high and waiting times are very long and there'll be some of you guys there that are literally where we were waiting and we know how hard that is. Um, so we consider ourselves really, really lucky um, that we've managed to secure this to get us back out. So we'll let you know what we're doing, where we're going. And hopefully we can have some sort of meet up as well now because we're just ready to go. So let's have a quick look around inside and out. And then, um, yeah, that, that's the exciting stuff, isn't it? And off we go. So what we'll do is we'll do one of these special things and we will then... Uh appear outside showing you around so let's give it a go so if by magic which isn't really magic but i'm outside now so we're at cara and this is the motorhome as i say it's a 2020 matrix when i do a full review i'll explain what the matrix is compared to the coral funnily enough those of you that remember our 2016 used coral that we bought the people that owned that actually own this and that is a total coincidence anyway uh big motorhome 3.65 tons it is a drop down bed model it is silver we're going back to the gas and electric fridge freezer because the dl had a compressor it's silver we've got an external gas barbecue point now i'm looking forward to that because i love my barbecues We've got a good sized garage, which our bikes and bits will go in there. This one, I'll just take this jacket off. This one's got a bike rack fitted. Um, so that's already on. And then I'll come down the, I'll put, I'll put the coat back up. There we go. I'll come down the near side. And obviously we can see various bits and pieces on here, such as our water, our Truma outlet. So if you follow me this way, so all being well, in um, just after Easter time, this should have been uh, serviced, it should be ready to go, and we should be hitting the road. We'll just dive inside and I'll just show you the layout because I mentioned that while we were sat in the cab. It has even got an electric step, which I'll show you, I'll show you that when I review it. But if we just dive in now, now, don't mind the mess these are our bits and pieces because we've been filming but this is the lounge area now as you can see it's the uh, dianette style that we had in the dl so that's the cab it does have the drop down bed unless anybody wants to come with us we shouldn't hopefully won't be using that um, but drop down bed and then back here if you want to follow me in we've got a separate shower and the toilet and washroom and then we've got a big island bed. It's interesting. I'm going to talk about this more when I do properly um, do a review of it. Because I know you like to have a nosy. And I'm going to be doing lots of stuff with this. But I'm going to be, it's interesting. I'm going to talk more when we get out and about together. 
about different beds because the DL had the long single beds and I'm going to talk about that compared to this because there's a comparison to be made. So there we go. I'm not going to go on anymore, but I'm really excited. I'm excited for getting back to doing content and getting back out motorhoming. So um, I'm pretty excited. And Jules is as well. I know he doesn't always look it, but he never does. Even at home, he never looks excited. So a huge, massive thank you to Cara Motorhomes who are going to loan us this for a short while to get us back out until we can decide what we're going to do next because that's the important thing but I'm, I'm just glad to be back so I'm going to wrap it up there if you've got any questions or anything like that or you've got suggestions about where we could go or what we're going to be doing please put that in the comments and I will get those answered for you so as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one